this is your stewardess. The captain has asked that you fasten your seat belts until we clear the turbulence. Oh, my God! I'm sorry. Eh, Margaret, it's Dean Martin! Why? Back in first. <laughs> this uh, seat taken, Mr. Well, Martin? Well, does it look like it's taken, fella? He's rude, Margaret. <laughs> Not like you are on the, on the television. Sweet, boozed. <laughs> well, Fred, what time are we taking off, sweetheart? Boy, they wait a skirt's oh. awful short, hmm? <laughs> hey, little devil. <laughs> I love him to uh, touch him on the leg a little bit. <laughs> How about a little kiss, huh? Hey, give us a little. Oh, forget it, forget it. <laughs> Ready to get into this thing, boy. I was flying out to Kent. Uh, incidentally, let me give you my name. I'm, I'm Howard Stuffelfinger, <laughs> the American Kindling Company. Anytime you want any kindling, just lay it on me, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll give you all the sticks you need. <laughs> I'm smoking one of my own sticks. <laughs> you know, you ain't allowed to, hmm? you ain't allowed to smoke no cigar in the I know thing. that, I know that. I remember the club here. I've flown, I guess, about 3,000 times. And wasted, uh, forget the belt. You ain't allowed. You can't read that sign, Defense Defumer? Defense Defumer? Yes. <laughs> Defense Defumer. That means put that thing out. That's what it means. That's part of the penalty you pay. Clown for going first class. You can do almost anything you want to. You understand that? You be nice to me. I pay for your television show, believe it or not. I may not be your sponsor, but I'm folks. I'm people. Understand? Hmm? <laughs> be nice to me, boy. There are a lot of kooks on these planes, you know. <laughs> boy. You don't know what's in that little rack up there. <laughs> be nice to me, boy. Right, Margaret? Sweet woman, my fourth wife. First three were rotten. <laughs> Teenagers, all of them kids. But fun, but fun. <laughs> no brains, you know. Nothing up here, but from here on down. <laughs> wow, gangbusters. <laughs> my wife now, she's 72. A little senile, you know, but a lot of money. <laughs> you know, when you get on in years, that's what you marry for anyway. Hey. With this ring, I thee win. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I bet you got a lot of weirdos in show business, have you? Hmm? No, I got a lot of weirdos sitting next to me. I'll tell you that, though. Ha, huh, do you mind putting that thing out? <laughs> We're sailing, Fred. <laughs> All right, I'll put it out. Sailing, Fred? We're sailing. Say, you know, it's a little bumpy on my side. You want to sit next to the window? No, I'd rather not. I've got that acrophobia. I don't want to see what's out there. What is out there, by the way? Besides the strip. Have we taken off yet? I never know. Hey, you don't have any sauce on you, do you? Can I watch you on it? Do you? No, I don't. Tranquilizers, anything like that to calm me down? I am nervous. You mind if I just try and read this hey, what script are you? of mine? Are you reading one of your, your television scripts, or is it a movie? That's no, uh, a movie. It is a movie. Why I are you yelling at me? I'm right next to you. I happen to be in a cannon outfit in World War II, and... <laughs> Never make fun of a veteran, fella. <laughs> well, you were doing those silly little shows. I was out there, man. Want me to tell you about it? I'm one of those heroes that likes to talk about it. Well, I didn't mean anything against it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Got a guy in my outfit did that. <laughs> He's a clerk, as I recall. He did that. Hey, I'll write you a letter, you know. Well, I just did that. I know what you did. I know what you did. How about that ring, huh? Hey, you've done all right. <laughs> I don't wear much jewelry, just this thing, chain of time. Tell me about your movie. I've enjoyed most of your pictures. You've played a lot of cowboy stuff, haven't you? Hmm? I imagine so. Hey, let me give you something here. <laughs> this is a good one. Hey, George Dan, I swamp down here. Who's that down the riverbank? Looks like it's all swamp water, ain't it? <laughs> John Wayne. Oh. John Wayne, you clown. Was Edgar Buchanan? Oh. <laughs> well, you better be careful, fella. 
Or you're dead where you sit. Walter Brennan. <laughs> Margaret, he didn't get any of them. How come Margaret's back there in tourists and you're up here in first class? Well, she's a little more nervous than I am. Well, uh, if we crash, she's gonna crash too, ain't she? <laughs> Boy, don't talk about that. Oh. Don't even talk about that. That is, that's, that's nothing to jest about. Hmm? Whatever, whatever came out of it, what came into your mind about that? Hmm? Geez, you got my thing going around in my face. <laughs> this thing is pretty bad, isn't it? Well, it was rolled by my brother. Boy, strange guy in the basement, my brother. Yeah, he comes up for Thanksgiving. You always give him a little chicken, some turkey once in a while. Great guy. Oh, well, bad cigars. Say, listen, uh, I just wanted to tell you something, you know. I, I want to ask you about a lot of the girls. You, you, you probably, I mean, you're a, basically a pretty guy. Uh, no offense, no offense. Don't worry about me. Remember, I'm a veteran. Well, don't worry about me either. Okay. I'm a veteran. Well, but I got I ain't that pretty. straight. Okay. You're gosh darn right. Close. <laughs> wow. Boy, any, any closer, man. And pilot to come back. Hey, there's a pilot. Hi there. <laughs> Funny, the guy backed in there. I seen him do that. I guess he's a little concerned. You don't hold it down at all, do you? Just. Keep rattling. Life on. is a ball. You know that, Mr. Martin? Life is a ball. I want to tell you. Sorry. I didn't mean to touch you. It's all right. Hey, that's a good looking chick. Who's that? Have you ever worked with her? Pamela Steffler. Who, who's that? What's that? That's a point. <laughs> right. I liked her the regular way. Say, ain't that something, boy, huh? Yeah, two of them kissing on the beach there, the transistor radio. <laughs> That's a teenager movie, though. I know those things. They just, it's not 45 minutes in the sand there. <laughs> kissing, you know, and I don't know, the times have changed. It's like Halloween all year round, ain't it? Sure is, All ain't these it? hippies and them beads and everybody. You bet your sweet cheek it is, baby. Sworn, you said. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Well, I'll throw one in. <laughs> I got some dandies for you. That's you, Ed. That's your sweet cheeks. <laughs> Boy, you would never have said that on television. People standing. <laughs> well, that's frightening, man. Good night, Margaret. She got off. <laughs> We're at thirty thousand feet, Matt. <laughs> oh. Say, just one other thing. I looks like we're coming into the. Los Angeles area here, and Looks Margaret's nice. back there, as you know, I guess. I, yeah, I guess she got back on. <laughs> Weird chick. Yeah. Uh, she's got two electric fans. That's what keeps her up. I, uh, uh, I was, uh, what, you got a headache? <laughs> yeah, I want to compose. Normally, <laughs> normally she sits here with me, believe it or not. It's just a penalty she had to pay this time. What's she doing? Oh, I don't want to discuss it. Well, what's she doing? She was naughty. sits here and uh, we uh, we play a little game, you know? Yeah, I hope you don't and, lock uh, horns, I tell you that. And in order to calm me down, she always kisses me. I wonder, <laughs> wonder, asking too much. <clears throat> huh? 
wonder if you'd kiss me a while. <laughs> while we're, we're going into the glide pattern. I don't think so. No? No, I don't like the kiss and glide. <laughs> Shame on you. Well, then, I'll kiss you, Uncle Dean. <laughs> you know, you're, you're an awful nice guy, and I didn't mean to bug you, honest to Pete. I, incidentally, this is my luggage check. It's all full of kindling. And, uh, that's on me. It's not much, but it's from here. My heart's on the right side. And stuff. This is full of kindling. Kindling. I'm with the American Kindling Company. And just think of those, those cold, chilly nights. I imagine you have a few in California. And you and Jenny are sitting there in front of the fire and burning my kindling. I'm getting emotional now. Besides, I think I'm going to throw up. Okay. <laughs>